Hey guys, my name is Mace Freak and welcome back to Total War Rome 2 Nerf AI Campaign. So, it's been two days since last upload and, well, after much thinking about it, I'm going after Moriduan first because, from what I can tell, it's a richer province and it has a uh, trading port. So, I can really buff up my income or my food at that. So it'll take a few turns for my army to reach the desired state, so yeah, let's quickly end the turn. Hopefully they will declare war on us, that would make it a lot easier. Uh, sorry about that guys, I just finished eating and I ate too soon to get this recording going. Uh, no, I ate too fast, so I could get this recording going. Also, I am now um, yeah, keeping a small intro to these videos. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about those. In a, what you think about that in the comments down below. Dang it! Not again. For sun is flooded again. Well, this will take two turns to repair. Three, perhaps. Ah, damn it, my income really got wrecked this turn. Um, so, yeah, we need more income, which would be... Well, yeah, plus two percent tax rate. I like that idea. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I was recruiting an army somewhere down here. Like by Bracte or something? An army with Ballista in it. Oh wait, yes, I remember again. I was going to run it around to this province. Without interfering in Pictone country. Uh, you also need to exit forced march. That... Well, I hate the stack penalty or morale penalty you get plus one to weaponry won't be worth it uh, we already have some Celtic Ballista over here which will be absolutely great I'm gonna have some fun with those um, let's see that's the one thing I dislike about this mod so far is that you actually can get more agents I, I like the idea of having more veterans in my armies to rec uh, train them and stuff, but it shouldn't be at the cost of, um, well, yeah, how do I say it, it shouldn't be at the cost of having so many agents, hell no. Uh, that the AI can make use of that it will take ages to end turns. If you have five enemies against you with four uh, spies and four warlords at the same time, they will have eight agents, so it means that they will have 40 different actions which will slow down end turns or turn ends for a long time. Um, so yeah, that's may just sound stupid, but that's what I think about it so far. Uh, let's get you up here. Good, you're still happy. How about if I move you and you? Well, not entirely happy, but that will change. Provincial instability is also still there. The squalor from buildings, um, yeah, that's just me being able to recruit I stuff. To serve the people of Gaul. Uh, so yeah, with the way I want more. I need some more spearmen. I have a few ballistae, but... Scorpion is nice, but... Not really worth it. Not enough men. Although high shots per minute. Um, so we'll get 
a bunch of Gothic skirmishers, I guess. I, I can all, always turn to mercenaries. I can recruit three mercenary spear bands right here. Maybe even more later on, so... I'm not too desperate right now. Uh, you also need to get out of force march mode and get some more levy spearmen and some Celtic youths. And over here I need some more... Um, wait, probably best if I repair that first. And I cannot recruit anything over here, but... Wow, that's a huge amount of mercenaries I could get here. Um, well maybe I'll have some fun with that. Atrabates. I somehow need to convince them to join a confederation with me. It would certainly boost my armies by a lot. But yeah. One more turn and I'll probably go for more Dunan. I'll be severely outnumbered, but I have Celtic Ballista. Although I do not know about their situation, they might even have more than me. Which could be a huge pain in the ass. And knowing the AI, they have probably have around four or five armies scattered around. Or, wait, no. Probably two or three armies, depending on their income level. They have about 1100, so I'd say one half stack and two normal generals. But just to be sure, I'll send in my warlord first. Well, one full stack with British, uh, Britain Ballistae. And a fleet. So they have a pretty sizable for a force with chosen short band. Wow, they have a lot of good units here. If I take that building I can recruit Oathshorn. So I'm definitely going to disband this one and get myself some more ballista. I need the firepower, the ranged firepower. To say the least. I can take them down. They have a lot of good men, but not enough. Um, Fasancio should be turning happy again soon. Provincial instability, I think. No, wait. Just the devastation and events. So the reform is now pretty much going happy. Um... Yeah, cultural differences is a slight issue, especially since Germanica is on the rise, and I do not know how. Uh, but can I set a war target on Pictones, Arverni, Volkai? No, don't it. No, I cannot send any war targets. But I will probably start by sending out spies to... Wait, I can already see that force? Alright, so they have one region with a lot of troops. Uh, in a head-on fight I'll probably lose, but I might be able to pull it off. But first, I want a massive amount of ballista I fire over the enemy. Just proof that the enemy is military, uh, from a military point of view, more advanced than I am. But, yeah, according to skill and usage of the armies, they are way behind mine. If I can get them in their city, they will die. Alright. Uh, Damn it! why do you try to adopt my general? Ah, oh, that costs me a lot of money. Uh, let's get some 
and Subras. Ah, those guys. Can I deal with those people in any sort of way? No. Too bad. Um, how fatty. Do you want to trade? No. Even though I have glass, they do not want to trade. That is weird. Um, So, let's get you over there. Get this province happy for a change. Um, this one will probably go down when the slaves have been lowered. Over here we need another sacred enclosure. For the tribe. And we need some mercenaries. Warriors all! This army will not even be close to enough to break their line. Uh, I want you to have a full army. And this guy will get the mercs. So let's first get into range with this army. Wait, I never even checked. Do they have allies? No, but they are at war with the Caledons, which are these guys. So that might swing a little to my advantage. Yes, I know I'm trespassing into your country. Wait, what did I recruit? I thought I recruited a, more, a few more Celtic Ballistae. Uh, did I miss anything? Ah oh, well, I don't care. Um, I will declare war, but Rabatis will assist me. And, um, from the looks of things, we'll have the fight of a century at our hands. So, it turns out that what I said, uh, last part, like the largest battle I would probably have to fight was not true. So from that point of view I apologize. Now I will see you on the battlefield. Well I don't know about you guys but I do not like the look of this. Um, Ballista, hold your fire. They have a massive skirmish advantage. Skirmishers. A massive melee advantage. Don't get me wrong, I have good units, but theirs are just simply better. Warriors! Uh, yeah, let's get those warriors up here. Group, and your word. to be sneaky, I'm going to put my forces like that. Um, yeah, in my country we have a saying, op hoop uh, which basically means... Um, just get it over with and hope it works. Move it. So here are their Levy Freeman and the Ballista. I completely got those guys off guard. They will now pay the consequences. If they don't kill my Ballista in the first hit. No, they do not. Good. Wait, I thought I had an army here. Oh wait, I do. It just hasn't arrived yet. Oh man. This is going to be a tough fight. I need to take care of those sword band units ASAP. Alright, so where is their main force? Over here. Chosen swords. Let's hit these guys. Ouch! I just lost two of my ballistae.
let's hope these guys can do what I expect them to do. And those British scout riders will really come in handy over here. But like I said, I have to take care of my first priority, which is those O-sworn copycats. I'm dealing massive amounts of damage to their unit, but I fear it won't be enough. Uh, so let's just get explosive shot on. Maybe that'll do a bit more. Come on, why have you stopped firing? So, have we broken through yet? Please, Nearly. Laura. Good. Swift, I just need to make sure that I kill as many oaths one as possible. Or, or chosen swords. Whatever the hell they may be. A bunch of weaklings if you ask me, but... Nobody asked me. Perfect timing. Cavalry. Now, where's the rest of my so-called force? Uh, here's my two remaining generals. My spears are on the way. Oh man, I'm so glad I brought these guys. Although I'm taking massive casualties, I think I can handle it. It's all about dealing damage to the chosen swords. If those guys fall, they are doomed. No matter what their reinforcements may be. Alright. Um, you there. I need you to rest up a bit, so you'll be going back here, whilst these guys take up the front line. And I completely forgot about these units, but... Um, let's put them out in a long line like that. That gotta hurt. Like, even if it doesn't kill you, it will still give you a pretty big headache. Alright, so... Oh wait, those are my troops. Alright, good to know. How's my unit doing here? Losing. Well, we cannot have that now, can we? So, this is where my mercenary Britain scout riders are. Scout riders! Um, I completely lost track of them. And I think it's about time we sent in these weaklings to cut up some enemies. I can tell you one thing though, I am enjoying this battle. Like, the constant feeling of a tug of war whose units are better, mine or theirs that kind of feeling really 
yeah, it really enjoys me and encourages me to play more. And seeing things like this happen, which would normally never even occur. Um, I wish Gadigis would hurry up. Would be fun to see what happens if those guys get charged in the rear. They are still tired, but not as bad as before. And wow, that nearly was a nice hit. No Alright, Catechies. Come on, get in there. Stupid chosen sword band. I think this pretty much sums up what is happening. I completely shattered the chosen sword band due to usage of the general's abilities. Noble horse. And I might be mistaken, but I think this is pretty much it for their force. They have a few farmers left and a few skirmishes over here, but nothing nothing serious. Nothing I would consider serious. So, yeah, I th think that's pretty much is GG. Awesome battle. They only have one left. And... Wait, let's get you guys out of that. Oh, come on, just get into a different group. Their entire force over here was shattered. My general is still running after their foolish dudes. Yeah, I'd enjoy it if you were actually to move up a little. Wait, why are you still standing here? Let's completely surround and destroy them. A chosen sword band is taking a very horrible path. Which will certainly lead to their doom. Why are you still standing here? Get up there. They are moving up with chosen sword bands, so I think it's time for my second general, uh, Dieturius, to make his appearance on this battlefield. And tell them what happens when you defy the Navi uh, Kingdom. Nervii. And this is what I truly hate. I've given them a group attack order and they just stand there like a bunch of idiots. Alright, so where is their Ozorn? Or Ozorn copycats. Oh man, I can't shake this feeling that I'm actually going to lose this battle due to their skirmishers or something. Or due to them having a few more melee units of high quality. And with a few I mean like a ton. Yeah, 
Kill, kill! Come on, kill them all. Get you. Get you. Let's get you. If you can make it in time. Um, after this battle, I'm sure as so hell going to put back on those. Um, oh wait, I have to keep hold of it. On scout riders. Let's see what does it look like. They only wait. They have a heroic riders over there. Oh well, it's probably dead meat anyway. How is this general doing? Good. He is still alive apparently. So I thank him for that. And these are indeed heroic riders. So let's get you over here. Walk up slowly. Man, this has been a terrifyingly long battle. Wait, everything is defeated except for that single unit? Come on. Do as I want you to. Be a good boy. And charge the damn assholes. Two units of noble horse should do the trick on their own. If he doesn't route beforehand. Exhausted. Alright. You sacrifice on yourself. Oh no you won't. You are not going to route before I get a good smack on you. Ah, too bad. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Well, we are back. Look at it. Completely eradicated the enemy army. But, unfortunately, one of my generals died. So, I have to get a good one in. And I'll probably take that guy. Uh... Disband those mercenaries real Honor quick. My army is good enough. And I what can I recruit now? Where are they? All sworn. Now we are going to have a lot of fun. Or at least I will. Not so sure if the enemy will have the same amount of fun as I will have, but Um But yeah. Good, they have a good building here. I wanna lower this one one down. I wish there was an option like get it down one tier or something but unfortunately there is not and I will not engage in this battle. I live to serve the that would be complete suicide and, and although I'm a huge fan of getting some work done I do not want to risk losing almost all of my men over a Pitiful skirmish or whatever. Uh, let's see, how has the balance of power changed? Oh man, I'm going the good way. Fukai, you are now. I need to find factions that are at war with more than just one enemy. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to do that next turn. This army needs to stay here for a turn or two. Get this population a bit more happy. Also keep a uh, eye on the Marcomani and Chagoski. Which apparently were the instigators of the so-called famous Ready battle. At which I do not even recall what the freaking name was. 
Ooh. I lost an army somewhere? Ah well, don't really care. What is this army like? Good unrelenting force, good charge bonus. Great general. Let's see, can I get him even better? Um, 5% morale. Good, try it hard. Alright, so I'll quickly check something. Well guys, this will actually be the end of this episode. Um, yeah, if you like this video and will and are trying to show your support, please leave a like down below. And always feel free to comment and subscribe. Also, on a small side note, in the description there will be a link to the channel of Panzer Legion Elite at whom, uh, with whom I am currently doing a multiplayer co-op campaign. Also check out his videos. Thank you all and goodbye.